And then these billet for the big body 50s cars. Man, they're so nice. Seed, thanks for joining. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. We're all about cars, we're all about trucks. Still in the Lone Star Throwdown Crunch. You guys will probably be happy to see me move off of this and on to another project. I'm, I'm a few weeks away. It's close. We got some nightmares with it, with the bleeding, bleeding the system out. It's been, it's been crazy. You can see the backdrop. We're trying gravity bleeding which sounds like a terrible idea. Uh, you just crack open your bleeders and let gravity slowly push uh, all the air out and your fluid to the, you know, to the caliper. Um, that, that has worked for me in the past, um, apparently not today. So we gotta figure out what's holding it up between the proportioning valve and back. Uh, but I got front brakes, so maybe a little bit of sketch, but uh, Hell, we may write it like that. I don't know. Um, so, we're still working on brake pedal, gas pedal combination um, with the aftermarket swing arm. They give you a, you know, that standard brake pedal that's like two inches by three and a half. So, the problem we're having is, and, and I've been buying pedals. I actually got two of these, which are Maybe good for some application, not the C10. These are the uh, low car ones that pivot from the bottom. You mount it at the base. And you run the cable up through this thing off the firewall. But they're, they're kind of small. They're pro it's probably like seven inches by two and a half inches, something like that. But with this in the truck and those small brake pedals on the swing arm, dude, it feels like my pedals are a foot and a half apart. It just, it's not comfortable. And when I take this one, cause you can mount it anywhere and run your cable up. And I put it to where it's kind of comfortable with your feet. It feels like you're driving a, uh, an electric golf cart or something. Um, so I'm scrapping, uh, this, this is out of the plan. So I, I threw that out and I'm like, okay, we can go back to the old tried and true firewall mount, but honestly, that that again with the way these firewalls are set up, that thing would be high and way right. Um, so that didn't work. So I'm like, okay, I'm digging around the shop, um, and I came up with. So I had the Chevy Two project, and I looked at the '66 Chevy Two pedal, which is similar to the the factory pedal on the truck except it's kind of cut in the opposite direction i'm like well i need i need a stock 65 c10 gas pedal or this so i so i go out because uh like two years ago i threw away the mechanism for the gas pedal like a big dummy and so so i go out and buy the stock mechanism but the problem with the stock mechanism for the 65 is that it puts a uh, metal lever on the outside of the firewall and then it's a hard bar all the way to the carburetor. Cool, that may work, but also know that there's there's two things in play. Um, one being the sniper system, which if you're using a stock gas pedal, the geometry isn't quite right and they sell like a $12 part that's an extender. It's uh, just hooks on between the sniper and that, and it slowly opens uh, the sniper. If not, you have this wicked breakover point. You'll be doing five miles an hour, and next thing you know, it's like secondaries are wide open, right? So they make that, but the other thing, and the bigger concern for me was um, because of this Porterbilt drop member raising the engine like three inches, now that bar would go right through um, my spark plug wires where they connect on the HEI. So if I run a cable, I can get around some of that. And, and so that's the plan, but my thought process is 
I need a bigger brake pedal, and I need a gas pedal that's larger, like an original or like this Chevy too, and uh, and I'll run a cable from the inside out. So now I needed to come up with a mechanism um, to kind of offset it. And if you look at the low car pedals for this truck, it has an offset very much like this, right? So here's your pedal over here, and here's your arm up top. And it offsets it maybe two, two and a half inches before your big pedal rides on it. This is stock, by the way. So, so I'm looking at low cars and I'm going, okay, I need that. And then I need some nice gas pedal or original or something. And I need a bigger brake pedal. So quite a few things I'm needing. So first off, I ended up with a square body mount. So square body Chevy, uh, the mount's the offset. I've actually taken the top off. I'm going to re-weld a piece on so it'll operate off the cable. And all this is inside the firewall. And then I, that doesn't look square by. It's because I've already heated it and straightened it out. I'm going to have to rework this. The main thing I wanted was the arm on the inside, the offset, and then a bar here that I can uh, work with. And then a nicer pedal. And once it goes off of this, it should feel more like a like a stock truck. So I ran across these billet special these uh, pedals. They're for um, 55 through 57 Chevy, 58 through 64 like Impala Biscayne, uh, 63 through 67 Nova. So Nova gas pedal. Here's the billet special these one. So quite quite a bit different. Really nice piece. They, they mount to the floor. You know, the original mounted to a couple balls in the floor, and you remove that. And you basically have this hinge. And there's a little spring in here. It looks like you uh, put in place, and, and your pedal just kind of rides on that when it comes forward, so it doesn't overextend. It keeps it on the arm here. So that's a super nice piece. And, of course, with those big cars came the big brake pads. So now on this, there is a template in here. Now, template, and I'll I'll train. I'm gonna transfer that to something a little harder, and then I'm gonna have to make it out of metal. And there's indentions on the back of this plate. Since I'm using an aftermarket swing arm, I'll have to uh, I'll have to make it out of metal first, and then uh, put the you know bolt in it that should go in it, and then this should spin on and off to the original to the aftermarket swing arm booster assembly that I have, but really nice parts. I'll give you a little bit of close up of these things because uh, they're sharp. Um, All right, so here's the uh, Slosh Tubs billet piece that cleans up that kind of firewall mount for the square body. It does have an indention in it, so if you have like a company sticker or want to shoot some epoxy in there over over something with your logo or Whatever you want to do, it could just be a colored epoxy insert. That's what that's kind of made for. And then these billet for the big body 50s cars. Man, they're so nice. See, it kind of has an indention here and a couple screw hole um, threaded pieces so that you can go over a stock pedal. This thing has like a indention in the back see that so i'll have to make a plate there's a little template here i'll make a plate and have that bolt through just anything so that doesn't fall off all right and with a little tv magic i changed clothes there's probably more junk on the floor sorry i did this piece without everybody so i used a template um just cut it out in some pretty thick metal and I took a little piece of all thread that fits the swing arm I have and I welded it on. So I just need to rattle can this. And then it just drops into the back of the pedal. And there's, uh, there's set screws that go in it and then nuts. So I'm going to wrap this up and I'll show you just kind of the final shot in the truck with this, and then we'll do a separate video on the gas pedal because I need to fabricate the, the little arm that moves the cable. Um, 
I just need to do some adjustment on that square body piece that I got. So I'll get this in, final shot. Uh, just one step closer to getting this thing done. I appreciate you watching. This is how the brake pedal turned out.